Lakeside Avenue. Beautiful day today. Sunny day. May. This is the playground. A good thing they opened the park now at least we can still enjoy the beauty of the park even during COVID beautiful park. okay let's go to cherry blossoms for me high park a municipal park in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It's probably the best park I have ever visited in my entire life. It is a mixed recreational and natural park with sporting facilities, cultural facilities, educational facilities, gardens, playgrounds, and a zoo, which unfortunately was closed in this year of 2020 because of the COVID pandemic or the coronavirus. One third of the park remains in a natural state with a rare oak savanna ecology. High Park was opened to the public in 1876 and it spans 61 hectares, about 400 acres, and is the second largest municipal park in Toronto after Centennial Park. They say it's about the size of 300 polo field or 300 basketball field. High Park is located in the west of downtown Toronto, north of Humber Bay, and is maintained by the city of Toronto. It stretches south from Bloor Street West to the Queensway, just north of Lake Ontario. It is bounded on the west by Ellis Park Road and Green Eater Pond, and on the east by Parkside Drive. As we were in the park, I, 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 I'm about to compare that this certain park is somewhat like the Central Park of New York because it is actually a very, very vast and very, very big park which is located inside a very, very big urbanized city. Well, I have never been to Central Park in New York, but I just watched and I saw and I saw some video of it from the internet and I watched some details about it from movies before when I was still younger. Well, the landscape in the park is hilly with two deep ravines extending the full north-south south distance of the park. Significant, significant natural parts of the park are classified as provincial areas of natural and scientific interest. When we were there, I noticed that it was really hilly. Imagine you've, you've been walking the whole day and we've been climbing the hills, but it was all for our enjoyment. And at least we sweat a lot, we perspired a lot, especially my son who has always been sitting down just watching television because there was no school because of this coronavirus pandemic and it's been almost more than two months already the eastern ravine is a north-south ravine occupying the eastern half of the park along a small creek and several ponds and in the ponds you can see ducks swimming you can see swans and in the air you can in the air in the trees you can hear birds chirping 
birds flying and really you are really close to nature and me as being a very nature lover I really want to stay in the park my whole life we really enjoyed every moment of visiting the park the creek begins at the spring spring fed ponds uh, like we noticed that it the the creek that st- that starts from downward going up or i mean it's the other way around it's not actually going up but it's flat the creek is flat area it's not like a river that uh, uh, it's situated to the southern boundary of the park and then the ravine is also less forested with picnic areas the adventure playground which we saw earlier right when we were at the entrance and the zoo which I said was closed due to the coronavirus pandemic there are several species of ducks which are called wood ducks just to the west of the adventure playground often it has several species of ducks including wood ducks to be seen oh how we love how we really love looking at them swimming like saying that they have freedom the pond was one of the first locations where bird banding was done Great blue herons can also be sometimes be seen at Lower Duck Pond just north of the Queensway where the water drains in pipes south to Lake Ontario. The eastern ravine lies over a bird river. In 2003, city workers found strong evidence of the Price Age Laurentia River when capping two artesian wells at the pond of the northeast corner of the park. The wells began spewing a plume of water sand, shale, and gravel 15 meters into the air. With this discovery, geologists finally pinpointed the southern terminus of this ancient river system whose southerly flow near Georgian Bay. Well, we really have Come a lot on. of things that we enjoyed. Move your butt, Kajan. Particularly, Come on, nice exercise. we visited there because of Ooh. the... Cherry blossoms is in full bloom here because in High Park, the, uh, guys. Cherry blossoms. So beautiful. And we noticed a lot of bloss- cherry and blossom trees, behind which us were actually donated by Japan. It's, it's just to solidify the friendship of Canada and Japan. Okay, John, you wanna go swim there? So it's really it's really very nice it's really very nice so if you have the time go and visit it go and visit the place while there's still the cherry blossoms it normally blooms by may by april and may so maybe by june there is no more cherry blossoms but still you can still you can still visit the place (laughs) <laughs> yes, you can still visit the place <laughs> because there is a lot nice place, of eh? it to offer. Yeah. There are really several plantings of Japanese cherry trees in the park, attracting thousands of visitors every year from late April to early May. That is actually the blooming season. The main planting is a grove, grove of trees along a roadway originating near Grenadier Cafe leading down to Grenadier Pond. <coughs> Excuse me. The other plantings are along West Road, the shore of the pond, and west of the Jamie Bell Playground. The first Japanese Somiyoshi cherry tree was planted in High Park, a gift from the citizens of Tokyo. In 2006, a further 16 were planted in the park. In March of 2019, Sakura in High Park indicated that following a brutal winter season, some trees showed signs of damage. However, many showed healthy growing Mm. buds. The amount of visitors has necessitated the closure of the jungle to to automobile traffic during the blooming period. You will lose 20 pounds here. Now it's also unfortunate that it was closed to public viewing. Let's go. Again, Me, because of the coronavirus pandemic. Hawk Hill pala yung so ano, napunta again, natin and I labyrinths. I my friend. Kung saan yung... Go and visit the park. Kung saan yung... Okay, 
maple oh. tree, maple leaf. So we are here on top Thank of the hill. Much. And dito na po kami sa I forgot kung anong part na ito ng park na to. There is the maple leaf and then there's a uh, there's a lake beyond Kumbaga sa New York, this is Central Park. It is a park within the city. And ang dami-dami nang nagpipiknik, oh. Dami nang nag stroll Very nice. Lots of legs. It's a very serene place. Naplan lang yung dagida doon? Ayun nga yung naplan dagida doon ang anak mo, eh. Oh. Look at the bird. Birds are chirping. Bees are buzzing. Very nice okay, place to come to relax. Chillax, chillax a little bit despite COVID. Come on. Papa, I don't need to get into the picture of the baby. Okay, then. Very chillaxing. Pagdakdal ka lang dito eh. Tayo ka lang dito. Bumaba tayo. Apantay kita ang jelik. Uy. Uy. Sino yun? Sinong tinitingnan mo? Legs. Legs? Legs na nakakasilaw? Legs. <laughs>